All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've come back to the Golden Sun. Um, we just left uh, Vale, which is right here. And uh, we're gonna head south now towards this firefly looking thing. Um, yep, do that. Question mark. Oh! A traveling warrior. And I see you're an adept too. You are just the kind of fighter I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? I am a Venus Jin. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger, and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in a battle or just use our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our power will work together. What do you think? Will you take me along with you? Bet. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Jin, is now Isaac's ally. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. Oh boy. After beginning, after bringing a Jin into your party, you must set it to somebody. To give your Jin to someone else, move it like this. After choosing who will take the gin, you can set it. Setting a gin changes your ability at or attributes and maybe even your class. When your class changes, the synergy you can use may also change. Next I'll show you how you can use us in battle. Each gin has different powers. Once we are set, you can unleash us unleash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. Use this command to unleash me in the battle, okay? I don't have any control over this, just to let you know. That's all you have to do to unleash the Iset Jin. Boom. Now it's gonna show you what it's like when you summon. You have a standby Jin, you can summon even greater power. Gen can be very useful, can't we? And one more thing. After Jin has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. After we recover, we will set ourselves ag ourselves again and be ready to attack. So we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Did you get all that? Yeah, I don't want to hear that again, so yes. Oh yeah, if you want to, uh, you can learn more about Jin and refer to the help, okay? Right here, that little select button. So I don't think, nope, oh, I have it on my controller, so never mind. Okay, I'll let you, I'll join you now. Thank you so very much. Please use us Jin wisely. So we're gonna run into more Jin as we go walk this game. Um, some of them are just gonna join uh, just by me touching them. Others I'll have to battle, and even others I might have to do a puzzle for. So, um, let's see. So I'm gonna get into random encounters out here on the Earth, or out here on the world map. It's fine. What we're gonna do though is we are going to let you back. Uh, generally, I'll keep a uh, like-minded Jin on the, uh, you know, the same. So Isaac being an Earth uh, adept, he's going to get the Earth or Venus 
uh, guys, and then, you know, Garrett will get uh, the Mercury, or not Mercury, um, Mars once. And they, at least in this first game, they, they tend to give you a pretty even balance of them, so when you get one, you know, you're not going to suddenly run into another Earth Gen and have to figure out how you're going to balance that. Ultrasonic fire. You're caught by surprise. But I think we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to... Um, buy some better armor here. It's not cutting it out here on the world map. I'm going to go south here because I know there's a city here. And it's going to proc a um, cutscene. We can't stay another minute in this da in a dangerous place like this. We return to Kale immediately. Master Hammett. This is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? That's awful. How are we going to get to Kayleigh now? Master Hammett, I worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it's his fault my rod was stolen. And his strange powers will aid him in his search for the rod. Ivan has strange powers? leave this treacherous place immediately. But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Lupa if we do if we go north. Lumpa? Lumpa. Yeah, there we go. Be better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? This is Vault. We're gonna take a moment to explore here. Um, but first things first, let's go find a... Uh, find a place where I can buy armament. Oh, here's the place I can buy armament. All right. Buy armor. So we got clothing. That looks pretty good. Better than our cotton shirt. How about shield? Gloves, that's better than our padded gloves. Padded gloves we don't care about. Leather armlet. Cannot equip either one of these guys with the leather armlet. And then the cap here, we don't have any caps currently attached to our brain. So this is going to be an immediate upgrade to us, so... So it's a free upgrade, more or less. Uh, let's buy travel vests. They're nice and cheap as well. And we'll buy a shield as well. And since we have the option... I still have Jenna's clothing. I'm gonna sell her stuff. Free real estate. I mean, free money. Uh, catch beads. So they won't let you sell any key items. So, for instance, these catch beads given by your mother, you can't sell them because you need them, or they're they're useful. Okay, so the gloves here. Obviously, I can't sell the most important item in the game, uh, the Mars Star. Mm, I'll hold on to most everything else. Bye bye, Smoke Bomb. I don't need you. Let's take a look, Garrett. 
Garrett needs a new... Garrett needs a new vest. Sure. That's great. Oh. Game tickets should always be given to not the player who's in, in the first slot. Those will come in handy later. I'm just going to quickly check everything, so that's all good. And there's nothing else for me to sell. Uh, artifacts, uh, we won't actually be dealing with artifacts until later. Um, but once the artifacts start to fill up, I can buy them anywhere. So if I skip on an artifact, it'll still show up in the next village under artifact. Um... Yeah, certain items can be broken. I don't remember how that happens now. But you can always get them repaired if they break. Right. Take a look here at the weapon guy. There's a long sword, short sword, battle axe, mace. Alright, let's see here. So, this is a pretty decent boost. So, I'm going to give this to um, Garrett here. Oh, that's fine choice, but you don't have enough money. I sure don't. That's stinky poop. Right, well, maybe we'll just have to go get, you know, get some money here. I wonder if I'm gonna get some money here. That's weird. I do look bolder. Thank you. We're gonna hold off on giving um, Isaac, uh, getting upgrading Isaac's uh, weapon right now. Uh -huh. But let's see what's going on in this town here. Start with you. Welcome to Vault, the town at the heart of Angara. Oh, that's cool. Thanks. On here. This rock was blown here all the way from the volcano. It looks odd, doesn't it? It sparkles so much. It looks like a gem. So, I'm going to talk about that in just one second. got to finish robbing this guy. Alright, good robbing. What does it say here? In case, there's a book entitled The History of Vault, Volume 1. The book says the name comes from being cooped up in a tiny place. Interesting. Hmm, nothing in that barrel except water. What do you have to say? If only these rocks were gems, they'd be, we'd be wealthy. Excuse me. Excuse me. There's a book entitled Gems of Angara. It says nothing about the rock on the table. So, um, to explain, the rock on the table is a, um, it's a Cyanergy stone. And these things getting shot out of Mount Alp is uh, a bit of a problem because when they interact with people and objects and things it creates monsters so as we move throughout the game we're going to see where, where unbeknownst to your main character these things are going to hit things and cause them to change um and this plays more of a it plays a you know a, a, a part in this game uh, when it comes to the monsters, but it doesn't really affect anything outside of, oh, it's hitting rodents and turning them into big monsters, or it's turning, you know, alligators into giant boss battles or something like that. Uh, when we get to Golden Sun 2, it actually starts to affect more of the world than just, you know, animals and monsters. But we'll go ahead and get out of here. Hey, dude. My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. Interesting. Oh, nothing in there. Nothing in the jar. How about this barrel? Oh, nothing in that barrel. Darn. Little dude, what you up to? Hey, mister. Is it fun to see strange new places? Sure is. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. What a, what a, what a goal. When I grew up, I wanted to sleep in a big house. Now I sleep in a small house. 
It's my house. Kids running around this thing. I'm gonna run with you. Yeah, hey, Mr. Hammett's Cameron caravan left town as soon as the eruption stopped. I guess that volcano shook him up. Also, the fact that he couldn't get back to his home is basically a way to prevent you from uh, getting to an area that you wouldn't be very. You would get blown out, essentially. Left the, they left him at the mayor to take a look for the stolen rod. Okay, so there's this, some dude named Ivan. He went to the mayor's office. A fiery rock burned a hole through the roof. Jeez, always me who has to take care of these things. Yeah, well, that stinks. Hey, dude. Hmm, off on an adventure, are you? Yeah. Impressive to see youngsters like you going on a dangerous journey. Healer must be worried about. Oh, never mind. It's not your problem. Oh yeah, this guy pops up in a lot of villages. We will help you any time as long as you are pure of heart. Oh, shit. I, I better not to tell them about what I'm doing in other people's houses then. Ah, uh, you get out. Okay, let's talk to you. Those travelers left in a big hurry. They looked like they were on the run. Did you see them come in? Did you see them coming in? Yes. No, not Master Hammett. It was a group of two women and four men. They were quite strange. The young, the young girl and the old man didn't look too happy to be there. Oh. That's another one of those fun things. And this happens a lot in RPGs. Uh, we're one step behind our... You know, the people we're trying to catch up to to save Jenna. So, that is what it is. I guess some folks got robbed during the chaos of the volcano eruption. Oh, okay. Good to know. So, there's people got robbed. Get out of here, old lady. Put this in here. Oh, yeah. No, not right now. Everyone thinks our guests are thieves. Oh, no. I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, but they've been quite polite and they paid in cash. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about paying in cash. Also, nothing suspicious about me looking in these boxes. I guess upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched the room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. Okay, that's fine. Those three visitors sure have fooled the innkeeper and his wife. They're the type of people who think they can get away with anything. Oh. I got a mint. Sweet. Now I'm stealing character upgrades as well. Alright, so a mint, uh, let's see here. Mint increases something. Okay, this boosts agility. So a lot of people have different um, pools of thought regarding, um, you know, stuff like this where, what do you do with it? Um, in many cases, uh, a lot of people like to try to round out their characters. So for instance, if you have a really slow character, try to use a, like a agility boost, permanent agility boost to, to increase their speed so that they're closer in speed to say, the faster characters. And then there's a different school of thought that you just take and you dump this into your main character, in this case Isaac, and, you know, let him uh, be essentially the big bad. Um, I usually are, am somewhere in between those two schools of thought where I don't, I feel that it's a waste to use, uh, let's, let's bring up the statistics here. I think it's a waste to use it on Garrett because he's got nine agility, and he is going to his agility is going to go up as he levels up. But compared to Isaac, his agility he's never going to get to the level that Isaac's going to get at. So it's a bit of a waste to use it on Garrett because you know again he's designed to be sort of a you know stronger or a uh, slower 
a more defensive centered unit, whereas Isaac's designed to be more of a balanced unit with uh, maybe some leanings towards attack. Um, but I think I'm going, and I could technically save this for later, but that I always feel is like the biggest waste. It's like you, oh, I could boost my agility now, or I could hold on to this and figure out who I want to use it on later. I'm just going to use it on Isaac, and he's going to get an increase of five. And I'll run into other mints as we go along, so it's not like, oh, I can't believe he used the mint on that. He'll never get another one in the whole game. It's like, nah. You're gonna you're gonna get a couple more of those throughout you know later in the game so let's go upstairs nope nothing in there nope nothing in there oh hello friend you look friendly you haven't done anything you're a terrible person if you start accusing people for no good reason I just bet you dude I didn't accuse you of stealing anything, even though you're a different color than me, and... Oh, that didn't sound... That didn't come off right. I meant, like... He's like... I don't know, man. He just... He doesn't look right. That's what I'm trying to say. And that doesn't have anything to do with the color of your skin. You just... Got them dark circles under your eyes or something. I don't know. That kid Ivan, he creeps me out. He just came and grabbed my arm. I shook him off because he made me uncomfortable. Okay. That's interesting. Boy, I'm gonna eat fucking shit for what I just said. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, this guy's also different. Maybe he's also our friend. Master Hammond's serve servant can't return to Kaylee until he recovers the rot. Okay, cool. Let's go talk to this dude. I'm not accusing you of being with the other two people I met in the inn, but I'm guessing you're with those people. Let's talk to you. Are you accusing us of stealing Hamid's treasured Charmin, Charm, Chaman's rod? No, I just met you, dude. Why would you suddenly jump out and say that I was accusing you? Oh, sure, I knew you were too smart to listen to rumors. But if it wasn't us, heck, we don't even know what was stolen. You just told me what was stolen. That's very suspicious. Go down this way. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a puppy here. Ruff, ruff. Hey, puppy. I don't think I can. I don't think I can interact with these. Oh, I can interact with graves. I didn't know that. Is there anything on this? No, nothing on these graves. Check the last one. Oh, nothing on these graves. Okay. Go this way. Being very suspicious. I got my eye on you. Okay. Let's go down this way. Um, I don't remember if I talked to this girl down here. This one right here. So I'm going to check her again. Wasn't that eruption of Mount App incredible? Sure was. I was so stricken with terror I couldn't sleep for days. Okay. I also forgot I can jump this gap, so I'm being stupid right now. Doo -doo -doo, I gotta go back, all the way back. I forgot I can jump the gap. One of those things about this game is you can jump over those little gaps. Nobody's stealing anything on my watch. We know the thieves must be from out of town. They must be. No one living here would break the law. Hmm. Interesting. Some sort of fantasy land, then. Everyone is capable of stealing. Not me! I don't do that. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Oh, let's talk to you first. Master Hammond, a wealthy landowner and merchant from Kale, had his precious rod stolen from him. He was quite upset. Let's ring the bell. Oh my, there's a guy over there. What's going on over there? Oh, I can't get up there right now. Okay, that's all right. We'll come back. Or to 
gin or something. I already know what that is, it's a gin. Let's go in here. A husband, the mayor, can't believe anyone from Vault could be the thief. But unless we find who stole the rod, Ivan can't return home to Kayla. Okay. Fuck you. Could someone please help Ivan? Okay. That's cool. Also, I guess I'm to assume that this is the mayor of the town. I mean, I'm just checking to make sure you don't have any poison in any of your barrels. Nope, no poison in these barrels. Wooden box doesn't have any poison either, so that's good. We're looking pretty good here. I could ch help Ivan if I were just a little older. Okay. Ivan has great powers. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? I sure would. No way, it's our secret. Don't say it if you don't mean it, because Ivan can tell in an instant. Oh, okay. Wonder who you are. Mind read. Dude, don't do that. Yes, I do possess strange powers. You have them too, don't you? What? My power is called Psy Energy? I had no idea. I have so much in co we have so much in common, I can feel I can trust you with this. I am quite troubled. Master Hammond's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? Sure. Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... Isaac and Garrett. I'm Ivan. Pleased to meet you. My abilities to read people's minds frighten you, doesn't it? Am I really? Is my mind reading so frightening? I'm gonna be nice and say no. Isaac and Ivan and Isaac clasp their hands together. What are you doing, guy? Ah, oh, stop reading my mind, Ivan! Oh, Isaac, could you read Garrett's mind? Yes, I could. Just as I thought. What? You read, read my mind too, Isaac? I guess I could... I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not fair to read one way. Ivan and Garrett clasped their hands together. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind, Isaac. Let's use mind read to find the thieves. Wait a second. Why don't people know we're using mind read? Oh, I see. You two can tell when I'm using Cyanergy. Isaac, both you and Garrett are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your mind. Ordinary people can't see anything. That's nothing to worry about. Don't worry, I will not read your minds again. Ivan's joined our party. Let's read the, the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to add that to one of my quick buttons because I want to keep coming in here. So uh, as you can tell, Ivan's a windseer, so he. Uh, would be a Jupiter Adept, um, and he has the ability to use Whirlwind and Mind Read. So we're going to, uh, oops, I'm going to assign that. Uh, okay, so we want to assign Mind Read. Yep, so now we can start reading everybody's minds. Let's start reading the cool kid's mind. These guys look reliable, I guess. Ivan's pretty lucky. Let's read your mind now. I wonder what sort of thing an animal would say. I wish I had that power. Interesting. Hey, that tickles. Being tickled by a boy isn't so fun. Okay, I'm gonna walk away now. That was a little creepy. Maybe they'll find our stolen family heirloom while they're looking. I missed that old urn. Oh, okay. We'll look for the urn as well. 
Oh. Go down here, I guess. Talk to you. Poor Ivan, but the rod may never turn up. In that case, he can stay here forever. I accuse you, old man. You have the hots for Ivan. You're trying to keep him here. Alright, so this is a, uh... This is a jail for jail people. Blung jail. Cool. Um, I was just about to leave this town behind when the volcano erupted. That's weird. Fix the roof. Why pay for a carpenter when I can just hammer it a bit myself? Little girl, tell me what you think. I suppose it doesn't matter how rich you are. If you can't save if it can't save you from an erupting volcano, that is very wise, little girl. How about you, little boy? I bet that it was those three creeps in the inn who stole the rod. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's go up this way. We're going to see what Mr. Suspicious thinks. Oh, looks like they're on to us. We better leave town as soon as possible. Yes, I'm accusing you now. Hey, just because we're new in town doesn't mean we're a bunch of thieves. Besides, you can't prove anything. That's true. My mind-reading powers only affect me. Alright, so let's see here. in the midst of a volcanic eruption, humans value more than money more than they value their own lives. Well, that's interesting. interesting. Everyone knows those three at the end stole the rod. It's so frustrating. Okay. And some pretty straight an forward answers here. Why does a wealthy man like Hammond make such a fuss over losing one rod? He has more than enough money, he could just buy a replacement. Because some things can't be replaced, dude. Like, you know, family heirlooms or whatever. Move out of the way. So, uh, we haven't been introduced to uh, a thing yet, but they're gonna start putting like these things here so like if I go all the way around I'll just be able to like push forward and slide down off the ledge so I don't have to go all the way around again but you what do you think you said what do you think no man should steal from another during the panic of an eruption it's unforgivable wow wow that is just horrid I I completely I completely agree with you I mean like who would steal during the panic, no? Crazy. Oh, let's see here, we got uh, poisons and herbs. Let's see here, you have one herb. You have two herbs, you have eight herbs. Okay. And then the poisons. Okay, so I do have three here, so let's buy two more. Okay, now I have six coins total. Oh no, I did, Oops. okay. I have to rearrange that inventory a little bit here. First of all, game tickets go to you. Okay. But better yet, let's make the game tickets your responsibility. So you now have two game tickets to be responsible for. Um, let's see here. We're going to keep the antidotes on Isaac. And we're going to balance them out a little bit here. So you got two, I've got eight. Well, let's do this. Now you have four, I have five. And then, Garrett, you have four. There's four. There is three. Oh, right, I'm giving a minimum of one. Okay, gotcha. I'm kind of losing my brain there. I'm 
sure did. I suppose you're not the thief. Ah, we're sure to see a drop in business after this eruption. Is it just me or am I missing something? Could it be thieves? This is no good. I don't know who I can trust anymore. Dirty thieves. They're just the worst, aren't they? You never bought me. You never bought me anything worth selling. Ever since the eruption, Grandpa keeps wondering if anything was stolen. He doesn't realize we don't even have anything worth stealing. No. Oh. Okay. Very, um, rude. Mm, let's see here. What do you think? I suppose these children can't go anywhere since Mount Adept erupted. What are you thinking? The other sparkling rocks are all crumbled to bits. But this one I found on the roof is perfect. I must be lucky. Yeah, the bigger the Sirenry Stone, the less likely it is to blow up into bits. Okay, mister, let's see that rock. Okay. Off I go. Let's see what you... Now the depth eruption was beyond description. It was so frightening, we're lucky we survived. That's true. Hey, maybe my neighbor is the thief. Yeah. That's very rude. I wonder what the... What? I wonder what the outside world is like. Yes, I do as well. I've only lived in the village northeast or northwest of you. A group of travelers was such a strange bunch, weren't they? They seem to be heading to the northeast parts of the Gnoma region range. Mm. That volcano cost us a lot of business, and now this robbery. Those three are paying us a lot of money. I'll stick up for them if there's any trouble. It would be awful if our guests turned out to be the thieves. Master and his wife are blind by money. They'll be in trouble if they don't help search for the thieves. Mm, it's kind of true. I kind of get it. It's like, if I accuse you of being a thief, you're like, well, I'll take my business elsewhere and I'll walk out down there without money. But at the same time, you don't want to be housing thieves. It's like, not good business. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we're going to play a mini game. What do you want? Looks like that weird kid is with them. I can't stand him. Don't let him near me. We're acting suspicious. Something's not right. But if you can, can't read use read mind if they keep running away from you, can they? Is this, isn't there any way we can catch them? Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. Don't worry, this is going to work. Isaac, you take the lead. Okay. Hey, they're back. Uh-oh, they're coming for us one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever it takes, just keep them away from them like before. That'll do. Uh oh, I'm surrounded. No, I've been use mind read. All right. What is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? Are you done, Ivan? What did you learn, Ivan? It's them. All right. I think they took a lot of other things, too. Looks like they're hiding it, it, it all somewhere. 
in this town. They won't let me near them again. And I guess we have no other choice. We have to search the inn. Leave it to us. Isaac always comes through. Trust your sense of duty. Duty. Well, it's decided. Let's go, Ivan. Yeah. No, leave me alone. Ow, oh, stop it. Alright, well, they're just gonna run away. I can't mind read that. That's fine, we'll just run away. Not up here. Not down here. I already searched all the boxes to make sure there was no poison. The girl seems to be missing now. I wonder where she went. Oh, hey, this girl's here. He should be fixing the roof now, but I can't find him anywhere. Probably in the back, slacking off again. That sneak, he's just wasting time instead of fixing the roof. The guy's missing. Where he went? Very curious. So let's, well, we're thinking about it. Let's take a look here. You have a wooden stick, traveler's vest, leather armlet, circulate. That's pretty good. Those are all good items. Um, oh, you're at level four, and you've got, like, a hundred more experience than me. Hmm. Maybe I should rectify that. So, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut here, and when I come back, I'm going to have more experience with Ivan... And carrot. So I will talk to you guys then. Bye.